Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do yet another unboxing. Um, this time it's for the Affirmators Tarot. Um, and it's from Knock Knock. Um, a, a publishing company, I think it's called Knock Knock. Now, this is where I'm actually also going to, hopefully if there's enough time, um, add these into it as well because they're from the same place um, yeah I'd say something more I was trying to see I think that's the publishing company knock knock um, yeah so anyway this is affirmations mantras for the morning and these ones are for the evening so just like pigs fly I'm going to hopefully um, get it all within time um, but we'll start with the tarot. Let me hop that off. Um, and it says at the front here, for magical guidance from the universe to help you help yourself without the self-helpiness. Um, viva illumination. Your belief in magic, magic or even magic <laughs> is not a prerequisite for taking a spin with the tarot. Um, pull a random card and reflect on its message or challenge yourself to read a more complex spread. Either way, you'll get a, a good dose of age-old wisdom that you don't have to be wi a wise old sage to interpret. Hey, it could be real. Okay, that's the word there. Hey, it could be a real word. Um, yeah, and it says include 78 full-colour hand-illustrated tarot cards and a 48-page illustrated guidebook. Plus affirmation, affirmators, affirmations for each card. Yeah, right, affirmators. Are. Now, um, I a while back I did see um, one of the first decks of of the affirmators um, a few months back. I think it was, and I initially was put off because of the box design because it was sort of sliding in and out from both ends and it didn't seem um, very I don't know, secure or easy to store in my view. Um, but I've since changed my mind. Um, so anyway, these, as you can see, these boxes are different. Um, so yeah, so we'll jump into the tarot and hopefully because the idea is that I um, pull a card for the morning and evening because, you know, I don't know when you guys um, are watching, whether it's morning or evening. Um, and we've got ourselves a ribbon. Okay, so oh, I like the backs. Wow. Oh, hold on. Sorry, it's all over the place. Um, I think that's how they came out. Um, yeah, and they're not starting from the four cards, so we're just going to run through them as they come. Oh, they've got a um, sort of corrugation. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's sort of, um, what's it called? Uh, linen, is it called? Yeah, I love the bags. Wow. They're quite thin, but um, with a large tarot deck for me anyway, with my small hands, it's going to be easier to shuffle. We'll have a quick look at the guidebook. It's not huge, so hopefully... Like I said, pigs might just fly this time and I might actually get it all in one video without the video chopping me off. Um, so table of contents, how and why does tarot work, how to use your cards, card layouts, about the deck, major arcana, wands, cups, swords, pentacles. So it's all very simple. There's no, like the suits haven't been changed to some other name. Um, and we just sort of saw that in the table of contents these card layouts three card spread more complex spreads all right so then we go straight into the cards um yeah i don't think it's got any reversals but not everyone has reversals anyway okay so queen of pentacles king of pentacles yep that ends there that's the world card and this is the author Susie Barrett I think it's 
Yeah, Susie Barrett is an actor, writer and practicing wizard who lives in Los Angeles, California. She's in love with the unseen magic of the universe and hopes to spread that love in a very non-possessive, never jealous, open relationship sort of way. She created the affirmators line oh she created the affirmators line to drop a few comedic reminders into life's drama and has been reading tarot for over 20 years okay so hopefully i don't know how long i've been so far but hopefully that hasn't been too long we'll pop that to the side um we'll have a quick look through these and then we'll have a look i don't think that these have got um you know what actually i might pull it open because i know i just cut the plastic so i haven't pulled them out of the plastic either but yeah there's not a guidebook and it's just a flip box magnetic um so yeah these are just affirmation cards i say just but you know they're not the linen and they feel a little bit thicker than the others but that's fine morning mantras so we will look at them in a minute. Oh, actually, I'll I'll put them out so that they're ready to go. Um, and I'll do the same with these. Now, inside, if you noticed, it says the same thing in both boxes inside. But this is a pillow because it's um, the evening mantras. And um, the other one had a cup of coffee. Just quickly show you in case I didn't show it properly, and then we'll jump into yeah, see a, a takeaway cup of coffee. Um, yeah, so we'll put pop them up there, and hopefully I'll I'll have the time to go through them because the idea was to pull some cards from the tarot and then get a morning and an evening for whatever time you guys might be watching this for a, a little mantra for the day or before going to bed. So. As you can see, they're not in order of wherever, um, you know, from full to to um, the world and then through to King of Pentacles. So we're just going to go as they come, yeah, as they come through. Like I said, I really love the backs. And, yeah, it is quite very thin, very bendy. Um, but, yeah, that's sort of... Not really papery though, they're almost plastic, I think, but I like the feel of them. Okay, so this is Ace of Cups. I'm really, like I said, I'm really going to try my best to sort of zoom through so I've got time to do those guys with it. Two of Cups. Three. Four. And I like that they're not non-illustrated miners. It's really annoying with some decks that they advertise, when they advertise that they, you know, I'm talking other decks, not the affirmators, but when they advertise the decks, they always show it, 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 the major arcana, but they won't show the non-illustrated miners. Um, and I think that's sort of um, not really being that honest with the sales pitch I guess you'd call it um seven of cups that's my own that's my beef I just sort of you know you go to get a deck because of the um artwork or whatever um that draws you in and then you find that there's lazy non-illustrated miners and it's kind of annoying um eight of cups with the octopus nine of cups which has come true with the genie ten I love the happy, you know, the happy vibe to these decks. And I was really excited to, uh, when I saw that there was a tarot deck of this, I thought, yep, that's got, that's going in my library. <laughs> Knight of Cups, <laughs> the Penguin. Queen of Cups, a mermaid. You see, she's really made an effort with these, and that's what makes it so special. King of Cups, <laughs> of course, it's a whale. Okay, so then we jump into Pentacles. Like I said, the it's not not the doesn't run as the guidebook does, but that doesn't bother me. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, <laughs> Three of Pentacles, High Five on the T-shirts, 
Oh, that says high 10, high 5. <laughs> and I'll jump into the guidebook because, as you saw, it's not going to be long-winded explanations. Four of Pentacles. See, there, you know, you, it, it, you know what it means by the illustrations pretty much that, you know, you don't have to try too hard to work out what it means because it just has, you know, because it might just have five Pentacles and nothing else, you know. But, um, yeah, see, he's looking in his pocket and it's got nothing in it. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Sorry if I'm flying through, but I'm really, because I already got cut off with one of them already, um, I didn't want to risk it again. Nine of Pentacles. Ten Page to do, yeah. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, noticing a few Australian animals in here too. King of Pentacles, I wonder if there'll be a magpie or a kookaburra. Ace of Swords, we're into the swords suit now. Two of Swords. There's a croc. Um, three of swords. Four of swords. Five of swords. Six of swords. I hope that the camera's picking it up for you guys because you never really know until it's already loaded onto YouTube. Seven of swords. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, oh look, yeah, see, he's all worried. Ten of Swords, yikes. Page of Swords. <laughs> Knight of Swords. <laughs> oh, Queen of Swords. King of Swords, a gorilla. <laughs> okay, so now we're into the wands. Ace, two. Again, I hope you can... Oh, sorry about my stomach. It's sort of growly at the moment. Three of wands. Love the little rainbow. Four of wands. Sorry if the lighting's bad too. Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, protecting his own stuff, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, Ten of Wands, yeah. Carrying all those wands on these humps. Page of wands. Knight of wands. Queen. King. And then we're into the major arcana. The fool. The Magician, High Priestess, again I'm really hoping that it's not fuzzy for you guys, The Empress, The Emperor, I don't know if the lighting's picking it up properly or not, The Hierophant, The Lovers, The Chariot, Strength, <laughs> the lion on his own. Doesn't need anyone else, he's strong enough. The hermit, a hermit crab. You see, a lot of thoughts gone into this, and that's what I really appreciate when they make the effort like this. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. 
justice with a bat. <laughs> the hanged man. Death. Well, that's pretty obvious what that's about with the skeleton, if you didn't know. Um, you know, change and transition. Temperance. The devil. Oh, my stomach's going again. Sorry. <laughs> the tower. Wow. The star. Stars are shining again after the tower episode. The moon. The sun. Judgment. And uh, what's in the judge? Oh, it's a little mouse. So it looks like a little mouse looking at the sun. And then the world. Wow. Yeah. Now I'll see how they um, shuffle because usually I have a bit of trouble trying to shuffle um, tarot decks. So, ooh. oh, it bends easily though. It's just sort of just trying to grab it initially, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do they go sideways? Let's see if they go sideways. Because often when they're a little too big for me to stretch my hands, I'll do it to the side. Um, yeah, but they, they shuffle pretty well. If you don't have small hands, then you've got no problem. Um, hopefully I'll have enough time now. I'll, I'll just have a quick run through these. These are the morning mantras ones, and they're going to have the same image on the back um, and it's a different cardstock it's not too um, thick but it's thicker than that it's a different and this is more papery so um, yeah I'll just sort of zoom through these the pigs fly that was on the front I hear the drama I see the drama I fire up my jetpack and blast away from the drama <laughs> yeah so I might just um, fly through them. I really hope you can read them because if I stop too long, I risk getting cut off. And I really wanted to kind of fit it all in. Hopefully you can see it and it's clear enough. But yeah, these ones are the morning mantras. So it's sort of like grab a... Grab a um, card to start your day and they're just really cute funny little whimsical messages you know light-hearted so everything doesn't have to always be serious And if I can time it well enough anyway, I'll pull some cards um, and see what we get. But as I said, the smaller decks, they don't have a um, guidebook with them because you've already got your message on the card. I really hope you can see them. But yeah, if you can't fully see them, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be pulling cards anyway and see what comes through and read it for you. But sorry if the camera's not focusing great. But yeah, I'm really trying my best to um, zoom through these. I felt guided to see what this says. A little smidge of manners goes a long way each and every day. Saying thank you, holding doors. Uh, what is that? Then mowing <laughs> right away instead of waiting for the awkward request no one wants to have to send. Then mowing. Is that what it says? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds familiar. I think it's some. Um... Now I'll quickly 
read the back here because I forgot to do that because they're slightly different on the back um, and the front rise shine and help yourself without the self helpiness that's really the um, the like with all of the decks it'll say without the self helpiness um, so it's just a it's just a light-hearted um, kind of attitude I think which we all need from time to time okay this deck offers a ver veritable breakfast buffet of morning mantras yay pick a card at random and let its wisdom percolate as you sip your coffee or milk or whatever you're into read it out loud to set an intention for your day and repeat as if whenever ne whenever needed as if or whenever needed now I'll read the the box and then we'll have a quick, like I said, fly through the evening ones and then I'll shuffle and get some cards for us. Um, and so this is the evening mantras. Let go, unwind and help yourself without the self-helpiness. And I think I didn't say, but um, well, how many cards are in it? I can't remember, but yeah. Does it say something? Oh, it even says something on the side. A gift for the enlightened seeker within you who has everything. Is it the same? No. Guidance for when your center is near, or when your center is rocked, blocked, or stuck in traffic. <laughs> um, and on here it says, because this is the, the morning one. Um, set intentions, conquer challenges, develop a resting happy face <laughs> instead of a resting bitch face um and then and then the um evening one says let go of whatever it is so you can enjoy wherever you are oh gosh there's even oh they've even got it on the hang on <laughs> oh my goodness um a mantra a day keeps oh, a mantra a day to keep potential baggage away <laughs> The wisdom of a guru, the length of a fortune. Okay. Okay, so now we'll get these ones here. A mantra each night to help you sleep right. Quiet your mind, embrace your path, relax without wine. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, so this one says, This deck of evening mantras is here to help you chill out, release the day and stop anxious brain bubble in its tracks. Woohoo! Pick a card at random and let its wisdom steep as you sip your tea or wine or whatever you're into. Read it out loud to process the daily hubbub in a healthy, non-stressy sort of way and repeat as if whenever needed. As if or whenever needed. Radio. So, um, yeah, we'll just see if we can fly through these without it being too long. So, again, the backs are going to be different because there's the sun for the day ones. And the moon for the night ones. So let's have a look. I might just go this way and see if I'm sorry if my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. I don't know why my stomach's just constantly rumbling right now. So anyway, oh. so we'll try and fly through these and then I'll shuffle and see what we can get from there. Like I said, I'm hoping that pigs will fly this time and I won't have a three hour long video. So bear with me, guys. <laughs> letting go is the only thing that matters in letting go. Of thoughts, emotions, anxiety, shame, spirals, I claim my freedom and make space for what I want to call in. Uh, spiritually speaking, but takeout sounds pretty good too. <laughs> Not all the time though. Um, I speak to and about myself the way a best friend would. Wow. Minus the hair braiding. <laughs> um and at the end of the day, I'm the best damn bestie I have, minus the hair braiding. <laughs> See, it's really uplifting, you know. It's um, 
really just a, a good vibe you get from these decks. So yeah, I'm I'm completely sold with all all their um, all the knock knock decks. I'm hoping to add more to my um, collection soon too. But yeah, like I, I was initially put off by the um, other box packaging. Um, as I said, but um, some of these boxes are different, which they're, um, I like these boxes better. Hopefully it's, it's clear and you guys can read these. Because <laughs> otherwise it's been um, a, a video full of fuzzy words. <laughs> I hope not. feel called to read this one too. It doesn't matter how old I am or what's going on in my life. Epiphany is always waiting just around the corner, which is why I guess it's good to sleep with a night light on. nearly there again I really hope that you're seeing these I mean obviously if, if it's not long enough you can hopefully pause if it's clear enough to read all right so I'll pop those there and those there and we'll see what tarot comes through and we'll jump into the guidebook so you can see what the guidebook is like as well um, so what do we need to know? What affirmator messages will help us? You can hear the linen, you see. I think you can hear it. Can you hear it? Because they've got... I love that. I've got another deck um, from Stephen Farmer that um, has this... I don't know, I really like this um, texture, I think you'd call it, would you? Yeah. So what do we need to know? Oh, that one looks like it wants to come through. It is Page of Swords. New beginnings with thinking and study, uh, learning new things. I mean, that's also the Page of Pentacles. Study. Yep. Okay. What's this one? Five of Cups. Ooh. Crying over spilt milk. Four of Cups. Okay. Not noticing the good that's offered. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit dark. Okay, is there any other messages that you want to bring through? Okay, this one's sticking out. Eight of Cups. Wow, okay, we're moving away from something difficult. Right. Crying over spilt milk. So it's... Can we get any improvement on these messages? <laughs> Ooh, what have we got here? We have three of pentacles. Okay. Any, any more or is that it? Oh, there's one more. All right. I think we'll stop there so we've got time to do the others. So what's this? Nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Okay. Wow. 
think it's about getting past the difficulties um, and see this is this is the thing the wounded warrior isn't um, down and out on their luck they're still standing and you know um, continuing on even with all the difficulties that have passed previously and the three of pentacles move towards working with others and creativity um, like I said we'll jump into the guidebook really hope I won't be cut off with any of this where are we swords where's swords is it before the pet yes it is okay page where are you night page all right here again I don't know if you can see it from there but I'll read it off camera page of swords ushers in a new challenge focused on words and ideas Interpreted literally, this could mean you've just started writing a novel or perhaps accepted a job as an, I don't know what that word says, etymolo, etymology professor, etymology, is that what it's, professor? But more than that, uh, so more often than not, it simply means you're facing a big task and you're about to wet your pants with either fear or excitement. Harness this anxious energy and use it. Sure, your brain is a buzz with an unruly swarm of thoughts, but the right-shaped funnel can pour them into your work in a constructive way. Craft your ideas with care and discipline and you'll have nothing to fear except those pee, -pee pants. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, um, and then we move on to five of cups and then we'll move back to four. I mean, because we can sit in the Four of Cups when things, you know, Four and Five, when things aren't working our way. But um, Eight of Cups is about um, not really be, being happy with, the, I guess, the status quo, or what's going on, but also moving on from difficulty but not sort of leaving everything behind, though. Um, not like the Ten of Swords, for instance, where it's a complete end. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we're up to Five of Cups. Hopefully, again, like I said, hopefully this will keep going. Um, the tiny quiver in your voice suggests that something hasn't gone as well as you'd hoped. <coughs> and as, I, as it says that, I my throat chakra goes... And you're stuck wallowing in the mud of disappointment. While it may feel tempting to stuff a piñata full of regret and throw yourself a giant pity party, a smidge of perspective will show you there are actually plenty of outlets that are way more fun. These five cups can be help. Or, or, these five cups can be half full if you release that de death grip. Yeah, if you release that death grip. On the past and forgive any uh, uh, these are there's lines through these for on purpose if forgive any idiots jerks people involved um, including ahem you look forward instead of back and you might see something there that you're actually looking forward to and I think I did not read that little bit in page of swords where are you page of swords um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an affirmation. I fear nothing. I conquer everything. I won't stop for anything except sometimes uh, Xanax. <laughs> um, okay, so now we read Five of Cups. I look forward to the good stuff and won't sweat the bad stuff. I know everything will even out in the end because karma is a meticulous accountant. <laughs> and then we move back to Four of Cups, you know, focusing on what's spilt again and not what's um what's on offer so four of cups says this card is a sign that you've become bored disenchanted or some other version of a, of total downer <laughs> much like a powder in the corner of a party what you really want to do is plop down on a dirty beanbag chair fold your arms and fall into a woe is me rabbit hole 
Just know that while you obsess about what you're missing, a party is going on that you are missing. Let the ba uh, oh, sorry, let the blaring irony is that right? Blaring, yeah. Let the blaring irony wake you from your doldrums. Untie your arms, untie your arm pretzel, and fight the gravity pulling on the corners of your mouth. The universe might be trying to hand you a kick-ass kick opportunity right now, but if you're committed to wearing blah blah coloured glasses, you won't be able to see the rosy gifts just beyond them. See rosy gifts. Um, plus, you really don't know where that beanbag chair has been. Just saying. <laughs> um, uh, and then it says, I open my eyes to the gifts that surround me and, if necessary, look over my shoulder to see them. Then I intentionally choose the one that makes me happiest. And then we move to Eight of Cups. So there's a lot of emotional stuff going on that we've got to um, let go of the emotional baggage. Oh, too bad it wasn't Nine of Cups. <laughs> Eight of Cups. This card signals the end of an era. Whatever you've accomplished or accumulated up to now is no match for the magnetic pull of a deeper, more spiritual life. You may be choosing this path because the other led to complete emotional burnout. That's a that's a almost that's heading to burnout because the Ten of Wands is pretty much the burnout card. Um, uh, emotional burnout or you may just be in an enlightenment seeking sort of mood whatever the case you're ready to burn it all down and head for the is that Bodhi tree or drink some kombucha and read a pamphlet on meditation <laughs> I open to a greater consciousness that I've ever known than I've ever known um, I open to a greater consciousness than I've ever known but I won't forget that I'm still human from the from the block. I think that's what it says. I'm still human from the block. I think that's what it says. Um, sorry about the <laughs> lighting. Okay, so then, then we move into pentacles. And we've got three of pentacles. At least it's not five of pentacles because it would be like, wow, all the difficult cards. <laughs> but no, the three of pentacles isn't difficult. And neither is nine of wands really because it's really about um, you pick up dust off and move on and be the, the warrior still. You don't sort of lie down and sort of give up when, you, when you've got nine of wands. Um, three of pentacles says, here he is. Um, while you're hard at work on a goal, dream, or shoot for the moon scheme, this card likes to stand on the sidelines and say, keep at it, and you can do it, and come on, ref, are you blind? <laughs> Wait a minute, strike that last one. This spiritual cheer cheerleader is a sure sign of encouragement. Whatever you're working on or wishing for, stick with it. With patience, persistence, and possibly some friends who can be bribed for their assistance, you will achieve exactly what you set out to do. I am a go-getting god goddess, and I won't stop till I get it. Cause oh, what? And I won't stop till I get it. What does that last bit say? Got it. Oh, okay, got it. Sorry. I think I need to get my eyes checked sometimes because they sometimes with the words that when they're small writing it's a bit difficult for me to see and I can't even see through the phone so I'm, I just leave that now I don't even try anymore because it's just too difficult to try and see anything through the phone um camera so nine of wands it finished on nine of wands we open on runners in slow-mo um, the chariots of fire theme playing in the background, the finish line in sight. Then someone face plants on a hurdle, someone else tumbles and a pile of num uh, a pile of runners ensues. Um, sounds found, sound familiar. You may be close to reaching a major or minor goal right now, only to find you've been tripped up by one of life's more annoying 
tests of character. Fear not, fiery chariot. You can still accomplish everything you wanted to. You just have to get over this final hurdle. Stay focused. Dust yourself off, as I said. Dust yourself off and do what you have to do to cross that finish line. Like climb over a bunch of bodies and a broken hurdle. <laughs> I've got this. I can do this. I will finish this. And then I can complain as much as I want. <laughs> okay, so then, like I said, I'll see if we can... Um, pull a card for the morning mantras like I said I don't really know which time of the day or night you guys might be watching this so I'll do one for each so what what can we get for the morning mantra what do we need to know Won't take all of them because there's a few. Okay, this one says, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll read it anyway. When in doubt, give people the benefit everyone else is trying their best, right? Um, except maybe this person talking on speakerphone in public. <laughs> the, the bird. Now we'll get one for the evening. Oh, that came through quickly. Okay. And this one says, Seeing where I missed the mark isn't a knock against my brilliant badass self. It's a light, sorry, it's a light I can shine on tomorrow to hopefully improve on my already brilliant badassery. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is really great. I love these. I love these. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this um, deck and these two as well. So this was the Affirmators Tarot and, um, and then the Affirmators Morning Mantras and then the Affirmators evening mantras and I managed to get it all yay without it chopping off at least I don't think it has um anyway um yeah let me know what you guys think but yeah there's your morning one and there's your evening one um so until next time bye for now